to George and Wendy's Freightliner, right? Man, it'd be nice. That's a nice truck. <laughs> does it come with Pubzilla? Man. It does? I don't know. Oh. What's that? Oh, man. What's going on, everyone? We're back with another episode of Stories from the Road. Today, we got another special guest, the Pale White Horse. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, the, the Pale White Horse. What? Number 666. Pale yeah. Rider. Pale Rider in the house. Six 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 six. Oh, look at that guy. What's he got going on? He's got like... <laughs> Get us out of here. Go! Go! So today we're here with Pale Rider. He's got his story with his bean to cup. Yeah. He's got some crazy, crazy stories to tell, but we ain't got that much time. We both got places to go, but he's got one good one he's going to tell. I will let him take it over from here. storm story. Yeah. Let's hear what you got. I think it was back, I don't know, 2000, maybe a little bit after that. I was with Epps Transport. I wasn't, I hadn't been driving all that long. I guess he considered me still a rookie. Five years, maybe. And I didn't get a lot of uh, snow and ice driving that much back then. But we used to pick it up in a place up in upstate New York called Pulaski. Well, actually, up there, it's pronounced Pulaski. <laughs> Don't dare go up there and say Pulaski. <laughs> You'll be knock you in the head. <laughs> Pulaski. They had a paper mill up there. I can't think the name of it. I don't think they're open anymore, but we used to pick up cigarette paper or some kind of cigarette paper that they used for the cigarette filters used to go down to Philip Morris down in Richmond, Virginia. And so I'd go up there one evening, pick up my load, and it was cold. It was during the winter, it was kind of cold, and the weather was pretty decent then. And by the time I got loaded and out of there, I started heading down towards Syracuse. Now, I know where the last guy is. It's like the very top part of 81, all the way up the top to upstate. Uh, Buffalo oh. or farther than Buffalo? No, up 81. Way I think Buffalo is like Niagara? on the western side. This is up on go straight up 81. Grebick would know almost, where it's at, right? Yeah, almost <laughs> to the end. Grebick knows the place I'm talking about. <laughs> and uh, plus, why don't we get down to Syracuse? Maybe try to make TA down in Binghamton, New York, all the way down almost to the border of Pennsylvania. So I, I get trucking along in it. Closer I'm getting to Syracuse, I see these snow flurries coming down. Uh, here we go. Closer I got, the harder it got. Just not real hard, just gradually. Just got a little bit heavier and heavier. And got to Syracuse, I said, well, maybe I should stop here at Syracuse and park here for a night just to be safe. But nah, you know how to, I'm going to try to make Binghamton. I ain't got jobs so much in the morning and all this stuff. We all do Man, that. I should have stopped at Syracuse. <laughs> 20 miles or less south of Syracuse on 81, man, it just came down. You get that lake effect snow up there. That's the worst. It's that right heavy, wet snow. <laughs> and you couldn't hardly see 81. And it was so bad that you wanted somebody to pass you to get in front of you so you can follow the tail lights because you're not <laughs> sure how the road is you know you can't see the lines for real and uh get this truck wind this truck out of here give us some press shift <laughs> and uh it was cold too so wipers were going and ice was getting on the windshield the ice was getting so uh, bad that the wipers wouldn't even touch the windshield anymore. It, that, that far, had them things going full blast, had to, <laughs> this was a mistake. Defroster was up full blast, heat wide open. It got so bad, I couldn't see. I had to roll my driver's window down to look out to see where I was going. <laughs> and that's how bad it was. And I kept saying, I need to pull over, I need to pull over. But you were afraid to pull There's over because <laughs> You're not sure where the shoulder is. I said, well, there's an exit coming up. I'll just get off the exit and do whatever. I wasn't even sure what I was gonna do when I hit the exit. But <laughs> get up to the exit, 
There was a truck over in the ditch. Oh. Couldn't see the exit, so he ended up in the ditch. Man, I said, man, I screwed up big time. I scared. Looking at the thing and out the driver's window, trying to keep it between the lines. Couldn't even see. So finally, I made it down to the TA in Binghamton and pulled in there and parked. I said, I'm done. But man, that was, that was quite a scary experience because I hate not being able to see where you're going. Oh, yeah. That's, and I had the yeah. way up there. And oh, no. This dude's doing the blind side. Yeah, it was crazy. So, yeah, that was a scary thought. Should have stopped to Syracuse. Should have stopped. Should have stopped. Yeah, I had, luckily, I had one of those. It was, you know, like I was coming through PA. What's that up there on uh, 76? Was that so so much? <laughs> Somerset, 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 on the turnpike, and it was like borderline white out. Like I couldn't even see the road, and I remember I was getting, I was gonna take the exit, but you couldn't even see the exit. Yeah, it was just like you know, do I get the exit or you know, hit the ditch? Just stay on the road. That yeah, was crazy. Man. Luckily, I made it through that all right. Didn't have any issues, but there's a lot of potential to end up in the ditch. That's what I remember hearing. Like if you don't, if you don't feel safe, then you need to. You need to shut her down, that's for sure. She got spotted. But that's my that's my snowstorm story. Yeah. Was, uh, years and years ago. This guy's probably got tons of stories to tell, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we can make a playlist out of this, just keep yeah. <laughs> Pale Rider stories, just keep <laughs> I just can't I just can't think of a lot of uh, I don't know if it's old age, just can't remember <laughs> stuff anymore. But. I remember that one, but that was quite an experience. And I, never, I don't think I've ever had it happen again. I've been stuck in snowstorms and stuff, and nothing like that. Get that lake effect snow coming down like that. And just, and then you do about it. That was crazy Man. snow. Crazy snow. Weren't you, uh, were you in Laredo last year when it snowed? Yeah. They freaked out over there, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> they had the bridges. You know, the overpasses and the flyovers that uh, they got down there, they had all shut down. God. And it was like 32 degrees and the snow had frozen. It had like a thin layer. Until the sun came up and it started melting everything, and it was good to go. Speaking of Laredo, this dude's, is that a Mexican, Mexico driver? I think that's a tag. Nice. Yeah, Mexican. From the border. Oh, he's got Indiana <laughs> down there. Right. Indiana down there, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to. No, we're gonna. Don't. We we should end this video now before no, we, we're not well, here to incriminate each other. <laughs> yeah, I'll do so. that's I'll that's it. probably another story they're, for another another channel. <laughs> I appreciate you I, telling your story, man. I was trying to think one. of a clean story to tell about Naples Hill either. Can't really think of one. <laughs> nice. Not nice. so much. They're dirty. It's just. You know how you get 21 year old young Marines out in the foreign country. You're gonna act a fool. So act the fool. Yeah. You sure did. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. I appreciate you telling your story, my man. Nice catching up with you. Yeah, man. Thanks for the coffee. Bean to cup coffee for the road? Actually, I got some. Oh, I got Dunkin' Donuts back here. Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah. Pour it out. Pour it out. Ah, what would you have? The Dunkin' Donuts or the Bean the Cup? Yeah, we got you know. Bean the Cup. Yeah. Oh, we got a phone call. We gotta go. We gotta go. Talk to you guys next time. All right, everyone. That was a pretty good little story Pat Ryder told us. Yeah. He, is he still over there? Yes. Oh, you see him? I'll move. Oh, that's all right. He's he's over there talking to the missus right now. But um, yeah, I'll let you guys know if you want to tell your story, get down. You know, get, get in touch down. With, get down. Get down. Get down with me. That was terrible. Don't ever do that again. Get in touch with me down below. You know, so I, you know, you guys can tell your stories. You know, if, if you're interested in it, you know, we don't have to do face to face. It'd be easier to do face to face. I mean, if you want to do it over the phone, we can do it over the phone. You know, I think it'd be a pretty cool thing. You know, try to get in touch with people, get to know people, tell your story. You know, so what do you think of what do you think of that story? I thought it was a pretty interesting story. He's got some crazy stories. We almost we almost had him tell the Italy story. Almost. He's probably telling the story right now. 
Actually, she probably knows the story. <laughs> so we gotta get out of here. We gotta get down the road. But uh, thanks for watching, and check out the next video. Bye. All right, let it ride. All right, everyone, we're back with another. Oh, I already messed up. Can't even talk. Just turn the camera on. It's on. It's on. <laughs> it's on. It's been going for another minute, couple You've minutes. You've been going so. the whole time I've been missing. No, no, no. It's only been going for a minute and twenty. So, golly, I gotta start all over. Start